Hi everyone. As you know, Dr. Maria Montessori started her first school, Casa dei Bambini, in the slum area in San Lorenzo. Now the children there were of low socioeconomic background whose parents worked all day and they were quite neglected. Now due to the high crime rate over there, the government decided that these children should not be abandoned. So what, he, what they did was they requested Montessori to look after them. While working with these children, Maria Montessori made 10 very important discoveries that formed the basis of her teaching methodology. In this video, I would like to share with you five of these important discoveries that Montessori made while working with children in her Casa de Bambini at San Lorenzo. The first discovery was that Montessori discovered that children had the ability to concentrate without being easily distracted. Now Montessori was surprised to see a three-year-old child who was working with her set of material which is called the knob cylinder and this contain, this is like a set of material with um, containers and cylinders that you know you slip in and out of the containers. So she observed this child doing this uh, activity and this child seems to be lost in that activity. She seems to have shut off everything around her while doing this activity. So Montessori observed this and decided to see whether she could distract the child. So she called other children and she told the other children to clap and dance around that, that girl and nothing happened. I mean the child was so focused. And then she took a chair that was beside the child and put it on the table next to this child working with the material and even that did not distract the child. This fascinated Montessori a lot. Nothing she did removed the child's focus from working with the material. Now the child seems to be in a trance while working with them. Montessori also counted the number of times that she repeated this activity removing the cylinders from the containers and then placing it back, all of them, 10 of them. And she saw that she counted that this child repeated the activity 42 times. Now that led her to the next discovery, which is that children love repetition. This girl repeated 42 times and at the end, there was this glow on her face. There was this perhaps like a sense of accomplishment and a sense of confidence that came with it that just, you know, you could see it all over her. Montessori also noticed that the children need the same repetition for a lot of things or for most of the things that she introduced them to. So when she showed children how to wash their hands, she noticed that the children would repeat this activity again and again and again, even though their hands were no longer dirty. Children have this need to repeat because repetition assists their development and learning. The next discovery of Montessori was that children loved order. Now, Montessori noticed that when young children observed the teachers placing their materials back on the shelf after use, then they had a keen interest to do the same thing. So like the teacher, once they finished with the material, they would go place the materials back on the shelf. They would also straighten the material up on the shelf to make it look the way, you know, to make it sit well and all that, because this is what they observed the teachers doing. The fourth discovery Montessori made was that children are not interested in toys. When the rich women in the neighborhood came to know that Montessori was working, was teaching children from the slums, they donated this beautiful and expensive toys for the children. Montessori placed these toys in the classroom for the children and she involved herself showing the children how the toys worked. But then, to her amazement, the children were not really very interested. Of course, sure, that minute they got, you know, they played with it when she was there. But after that, they never really went back to the toys. They looked at them out of curiosity and then they abandoned them and they went to work with all other Montessori's materials. She also noticed that the next day, the children, when they came back, they did not really go to these toys to play with them. Instead, they chose to work with the materials that she prepared for them. So this observation led her to conclude that children are not interested or attracted to any materials or activity that do not help or assist their development and learning. The fifth discovery was that children do not need rewards or punishment. 
Now once Montessori walked into the classroom and to see that the teacher had punished a child. So the child was sitting in the center of the room and had a sign on his chest. And then there was another girl who the teacher had given a badge in, of appreciation of some sort. So this was a reward for her. But she was not really interested. Once the badge was on, she just removed it. She went to the center of the class and gave it to the boy who was sitting there with the sign who was being punished. And to her amazement, even this boy showed total indifference. He was not really concerned that he had this you know, punishment going on. And he was not really concerned about the reward. It just meant no nothing to him. In fact, in some cases, Montessori observed that giving rewards and punishments affected children's choice of activity. So what she did was she completely stopped giving rewards and punishments. Now, she monitored children's uh, behavior and she discovered that children were well behaved when they learn or they are taught and they learn how to work with her materials and activities. There were many other discoveries that Montessori made through her observations of children in Casa de Bambini. Now, all these discoveries led Montessori to creating her first course on education for children in 1909. I hope you've enjoyed this. I will share with you more of Montessori's discoveries in my next video. Bye for now.